so uh, today is a, a very sad day for us as a, a ministry and even an industry because we have lost um, a friend, uh, someone whom I spoke to last night. And uh, it's unbelievable that by this morning I got the message that he has passed on. So I want to take this opportunity to pass my message of condolences to the family, the entire media fraternity, and his friends and relatives within Kisumu and beyond. Dickens was a very easygoing person, a team player. He was very forthright, very cooperative, and he exhibited a lot of uh, professionalism in everything that he did. So as, a, as an industry, we have lost a very integral member of the family. And we only pray at this point in time that God the Almighty will rest his soul in eternal peace. We send our condolences to the media fraternity in Kisumu. Dickens was the chairperson of uh, the Kisumu Journalist Network. Actually, he had booked an appointment to come to offices on Tuesday to come and introduce the new office holders. So we send our condolences to the media fraternity and uh, wish the family courage during this difficult time. We will try our best to support the family and all the members of uh, the local journalism fraternity during this difficult time. We, we are very sad this morning, we as journalists of Kisumu, and I came to learn the death of uh, Dickens via WhatsApp this morning uh, because I saw the message that uh, uh, Denis wrote there at, uh, in the WhatsApp that uh, uh, Dickens uh, I'm a part of accident and then uh, Within 20 minutes, I heard that, that people, you people come to the morgue. You know, I was, what am I seeing? Because, you know, yesterday we were with the Dickens. And, uh, you know, it's, it is unfortunate that uh, uh, Dickens is dead now. To Likua Nae, we were in some function. And we, uh, after that, actually, we met with the Dickens at, uh, uh, it was around 4, 4.30. Uh, at, um, and then we spoke, and then we said, then we, we, we will talk. And then I just went like that. This morning I'm being told that Dickens is, is no more. I'm surprised. And we as journalists and as KJN members, and uh, I'm the vice chair, we are very sad. We are sad. And may God, may his soul uh, rest in peace. Uh, we received the information this morning. And uh, it was shocking to me because we're losing, uh, one, I'm losing a friend, village mate, and also my success as the chairman of the Kisumu Journalist Network. Uh, Dickens, we know him as a confident, and somebody who doesn't mince his words when he's telling you the truth. And we know him as a brilliant writer and also somebody who has been our senior in this particular field. And we're losing him at a time that uh, we had hopes that uh, being a my successor is going to change many things that uh, we hadn't been doing right and also just uh, make us uh, united. In fact, yesterday in the WhatsApp group, you know, the message he wrote, it was like, I don't know if it was uh, somebody says that uh, maybe a premonition or what, because he was calling for unity of journalists. Because there have been some issues. So he was calling for uh, unity of all journalists, especially he spoke on the uh, WhatsApp group uh, bringing together all the law journalists in, in Kenya. So I think when I heard the news, that is what I went to first because it's like, I don't want to say he saw it coming. But the only thing we can do is uh, take his message and uh, remain united because, of course, like any other profession, we have many other issues.